All right, guys, our next bit of movie news today um, is also borderline television uh, because it shares, it has one foot in, uh, in both properties. It is WandaVision, both part of the MCU and uh, Disney Plus. Um, in a recent interview with uh, Kevin Feige, Kevin Feige came out and said that the television show, WandaVision, will have elements where characters actually speak to the camera in the same same ways like The Office or Modern Family or Parks and Rec. Uh, that whole kind of um, relationship with the camera that we now have. Um, I think this is, this is interesting because if you've seen the trailers, you know that there are different time periods represented um, in television, in, in specifically within sitcom. The sitcom uh, format has changed drastically over the years. If you look at what it was in like I Love Lucy, and then you fast forward 20 years and you see what it was with Bewitched, and then you fast forward 20 years and see what it was like in Seinfeld, and then you fast forward 20 years and see what it was like in Modern Family. Um, it seems like they are kind of going through some of these stages of like, the like how the sitcom has changed over the years, right? And again, narratively speaking, I think this is all in part of like the crazy that Wanda Maximoff is uh, uh, manifesting in her own mind. This is the world that she's living in, whether it's real or whether it's in her own brain. We'll have to sit and, and, and find out. Um, but yeah, Carter, how do you feel about the uh, the progression of the sitcom within a very dynamic storytelling device of WandaVision? Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I abs- I love sitcoms, and I also just love the uh, progression of comedy over the years. I think you already are aware that I'm a big March Brothers fan. And Oh, um, you and me both. I, oh, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so like just even when... You know, like I see other people online talking about how, you know, this, the from the trailer that it matches I Love Lucy and Roseanne and Sabrina the Teenage Witch and stuff like that. And just going through the years, um, I actually had already guessed that the, you know, the 2000s or the 2010s, if they end up getting to that era, the one that they didn't do was going to be more like Modern Family. Um, though I had a couple people guess that it was going to be more like Big Bang Theory, but I was like, no, they, I, I think they'd much like they'd go more in a modern family. But I'm really interested to see if uh, they do the mockumentary style throughout all of the decades that they're covering. Like, I love Lucy in a mockumentary style or the Dick Van Dyke show in a mockumentary oh, that, style. That's, are yeah, both I'd never thought about really that. interesting. Do a black yeah, yeah. and white kind of talk directly to the kind of take the old and the new and mash them together a little bit. Yeah, well, they, you know, they did some stuff like that back in the day too, because they used to do those. Um, they used to do teleplays, and I know that's like a weird thing that a lot of people don't like. They used to do teleplays where they, people would just be in a house, right? And there would be like two camera guys and a director, and they would do the whole play like it was a play. Um, but the cameras would have to move around the whole entire house. Right. And sometimes the people would have to talk to the camera to like give themselves a moment. And they would do famous works like A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen or, uh, you know, um, you know uh, other Chekhov things. Sure, and then sure. Even some comedies that they would do. Um, but I think that that's a lost art that I think that if they even poked fun in WandaVision, that would really that would really tickle my fancy. I mean, the hard thing is that you kind of have to uh, you kind of have to play to the masses a little bit in this kind of a scenario. Uh, but the question is for you guys: What do you think of One Division uh, taking on some more Office or Modern Family style elements within its uh, storytelling episodes? I think it's fair to say that we're all looking forward to One Division. Um, we know it's going to be the first Marvel property back out in the open uh, ever since Spider Man: Far From Home. That seemed like a long time ago, doesn't it? Um, anyway, yeah. we all, we're all excited for it. We know how excited we all are for it. Uh, but jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts about um, these new developments about specifically like The Office and, and Modern Family and that style of storytelling. Are you looking forward to seeing that version of it? Um, or would you rather keep it a little bit more old school? I would very much love to hear those thoughts. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. And if you really like this video, click subscribe. 
And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Weird Al Yankovic would want you to do. Dun, 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 dun,